I am sports. Sports made me. I always wanted to be different. The worst thing for me is to be like everybody. To wear what everybody wears. To say what everybody says. To train like everybody trains. I always wanted more. There is more outside. And I want to learn. I want to give. I want to love. I want to be loved. Failure was never an option to me. It's hard, and I have to fight sometimes, but I love fighting. It makes me feel myself, and I believe in myself. Here I am, a dream came true. Sometimes I don't believe it, but it's real. It's like the energy of the people stays inside of the gym. And that makes me go further. It gives me the power to walk on, to achieve more, more for everybody. Wow. My passion is finding my job, and it feels good. I started martial arts when I was 13. I started with Kung Fu and after the first training, I thought, wow, that's it. My motivation for my training is never give up because I want to be different than other people. The most people I know are weak in their mind and I, I try to be strong in my mind because I want to show that everything is possible when you never give up. Free running, my motivation, my life. The freedom to find your own way your own style. Life in life is all about taking the next step, overcoming barriers and fear. I started with uh, b-boying or what people know as breakdance 
1997 and uh, since then it was uh, my passion, it was the thing I wanted to do and uh, yeah, basically when I finished school I made it my profession and I, yeah, I live it ever since and um, yeah, I'm loving it. For me it's very important to, to do something that nobody else is doing, to create things because that gives me the feeling of doing something unique. You know, if you go to an everyday 9 to 5 job, if you wouldn't do it, someone else would do it. If I go to my job, if I wouldn't do it, it wouldn't be there. So, creating things is the unique number one thing I love to do. A few years ago, I think it's four years now, um, I just came back from the USA and I went to a competition in France. And in the final battle, I broke my fucking shin bone. And um, was in the final battle, last move. Afterwards, they brought me to a hospital. I didn't speak French. They didn't really know how to speak English. And it actually worked out and made it grow together again. But it took like half a year before I could actually dance again. And this was fucking hard. At the time, I didn't have an apartment, so I came back <laughs> to my parents' house. I had to stay in the bed of my little brother. And uh, it makes you doubt if you're going the right way. But at the end, you know, you get support by friends, family and whoever. And uh, yeah, through the hard times you get back up and you see that it's worth it. And uh, you start appreciating the ability of walking much more than I used to before. I personally get my motivation from practicing martial arts. There were many times in my life where I thought I quit, I will not get up, but I realized that it's always like this in life. You get a punch, you go down, you have to get up, you go down, you have to get up, you go down, you have to get up, it's always this. And uh, in these times it's really important to have people around you, like in Pataman Chim time, who are motivating you. I mean, the most important thing is to be able to motivate yourself. But sometimes it's really, really useful and really, really good to have good friends and good people around you who tell you, go on. The whole hip hop uh, culture or tricking and uh, parkour is like more like from the street and more underground and the people don't really accept it. In my situation was like this, uh, my parents really don't accept it and because 15 years ago of course, you know, breakdance and hip-hop was not that big like today. I really, I felt it in my heart, really I want to do this for my life and I know I'm, I'm strong enough to come to the highest level to make it to, to my job. It's never too late to fulfill a dream. Believe in yourself. Be different.